Did you know that every month we throw enough bottles and jars away to fill up a giant skyscraper? And here's the crazy thing. All this glass is completely recyclable. Did you know that glass is 100% recyclable? Even when it's broken? Oops. Hi there, I'm Joel Green, and welcome to Curiosity Quest Goes Green, the show that explores what you, the viewer, are curious about. Well, today, our quest setter comes to us from Bill in Rancho Cucamonga, California. And Bill wrote, Dear Joel, I'm curious. If I recycle a glass bottle, how is it made into something else? Is it melted, or do they make it into other bottles? Well, Bill, because of you, on today's episode of CQ Goes Green, we're going to explore the process of recycling glass. Let's get started. Somebody can get hurt on this. All right, so I'm out here at Strategic Materials with Sal. How are you doing there, Sal? Good, good. How are you? Good. Well, thanks for having us out here today. So tell us, where do you get all the glass from? Well, this glass basically comes in from uh, recycling centers from around Redemption Center, buyback centers from around Southern California. Uh, they bring the glass into us. Um, they come over our scales. You can see here we have trucks that come in uh, daily. They come in over our scales. We weigh them in, tear them out, offload, <laughs> and then from there we process the glass. Okay, now we we'll start back at the recycling center. So, you know, people like myself, I can go and drop off all my glass bottles. Yes. And what about like curbside? Do you have any? Does any of this from curbside? Yes. As a matter of fact, we do have some curbside. We have about 6,000. 6,500 tons a month that comes in from curbside programs. That so sounds we, like a lot. It is a lot. It's <laughs> quite a bit. Wow. Now, and they, when you say comes in, what happens? They go to a transfer station. They uh, clean out whatever they're going to pull out of it. Uh, fiber, for instance, aluminum, whatever they can, the bigger stuff. Yeah. The glass, most of what is, uh, should be a high percentage glass, comes to us. We process it here. We pull out as much glass as we can. We take out the, uh, contaminants. For instance, uh, metals, um, non-ferrous uh, metals, uh, ceramic, vision wear, things of that nature. Things that, uh, or materials that can't really be um, uh, sent in, final, in the final material to our customers. Okay. Now, glass is, as I understand it, 100% recyclable. Correct. Is that why it's important to take out all these other materials? Well, yes, it's important to take out the other materials because in, uh, for instance, container manufacturers and their furnaces, the ceramic melts at a higher, um, it has a higher melting point than glass does, or even virgin glass materials. So basically, what happens is if we don't take those contaminants out, they come out when they're in molten in the molten glass, and they come out of an imperfection, or they uh, can wreak havoc on the on their processing. Fun fact! Fun fact! Fun fact! Did you know that one glass bottle can power a light bulb for four hours? Four hours. And do you know that glass is recyclable over and 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 just over and keep, keep well, okay, all right, I'm, I'm done with this segment. Stop throwing bottles at me. I'm curious, do you know what glass is made of? Probably rubber. Sand. Say it sand. Little shiny things? Um, paper. <laughs> And? Wood. And? Blank. All of the above. <laughs> Shiny material or rocks? Say some type of rock or something, maybe? All, all the cans and stuff that they use? Sand. And? Um, electrons. And? Fire. Well, basically we have sand, soda ash, limestone, and uh, recycled glass color. All right, now how many different colors 